Welcome back. Before we take a look at the day's business news, let's take a look at the stock indices across the GCC. And in our top business story, Drydocks World announced that it is building a mega jackup rig for the North Sea on Monday. His Excellency Hamiz Juma Bouamim, Chairman of Drydocks World and Maritime World, said this marks their entry to the next stage of technology and design by building a green rig which will take the oil industry to a new level. The rig is said to be totally environment friendly with 30% less fuel consumption, Tier 3 compliance, fresh water generation using waste heat from engine cooling and up to 25% CO2 and NOx emission. A signing ceremony marks the giant deal that will be the first of its kind in the world and the largest jacker brig to be built. Estimated to be worth 2.7 billion dirhams, the CJ80 project will be called Dubai Expo 2020 NS. Winning uh, Expo was quite an incredible achievement and therefore uh, our partners for this platform decided that they will call it Dubai Expo 2020 NS, stand for North Sea. And therefore this is the name for this vessel for the rest of its life. The important thing is that we're building the largest uh, platform uh, for offshore, basically for the North Sea. This is uh, actually um, the first will be in the world. It has a number of uh, new technology in it, which include totally environment friendly. And also it has capacity that uh, many of the other platforms don't have. So therefore, it's an exceptional design. It uh, des will be designed and designed by uh, MS Costo. So therefore, uh, hopefully as of next week, we're starting the discussion in the engineering and other uh, procedures. After capturing five of the world's first projects for Germany, USA, Australia and the UK, they are now on to their sixth. With the world energy demand set to grow by 52% over the period between 2010 and 2035, His Excellency Buamim says Drydocks World is prepared. Following the positive results achieved in the past four years, he added it is a busy year ahead. The performance of last year, we retained uh, profit margins or uh, our EBITDA was around 100 and 110 million dollars. Uh, however, as you know, we just came out of restructuring, so uh, it's normal that we have to rebuild now a lot of our financial situation and we are going ahead now with the future. And this is why we're looking for magnificent uh, uh, potential projects. 1.4 billion dollars is the portfolio we targeting to by the third quarter. We have a lot of uh, ongoing now discussion. We signed a while back as you know the letter of intent for the CJ60 also and that's basically uh, it's a multi-purpose rig which include for uh, uh, accommodation for the North Sea. So we are actually in discussion as of n tomorrow uh, next week, sorry, will be on the finalization of that and moving forward with it. A new study found that the UAE and other countries in the GCC are poised to become the world's fastest growing consulting markets this year. The latest findings published in a report from Source Information Services said the region's consulting business grew to $1.9 billion last year, up by 20% the biggest gain among the major global markets. The main hotspots in the GCC are the UAE, Qatar and Saudi Arabia, offering attractive conditions that are ideal for consulting firms to thrive. The source report looks into major markets in the world to advise consulting firms on where the investments are best directed this year. It ranks each market for overall attractiveness against three factors that are growth potential in 2014, ability to attract and retain talent and the prices that consulting firms can command. The GCC consulting market, prefer, referred to in the report, covers leading consulting firms as well as smaller regional and local specialists offering traditional management consulting services to areas including human resources and IT, except public relations, advertising and legal. Etihad Airways says it will not be rushed into deciding a possible investment in the struggling Italian carrier Al Italia. 
According to reports, James Hogan, Etihad's president and chief executive, was quoted as saying the talks are still in their early days and that the airline is still working on the process, including undertaking due diligence. He added that the carrier will not be rushed into making a decision. Hogan made the comments at a press conference in Berlin, where the airline outlined its plans to build up its partnership in Air Berlin, in which it holds a 29.2% stake. For Etihad, about 20% of its revenue comes via codeshare agreements and equity partners. Besides the German investment, Etihad owns a 40% stake in Air Seychelles, a 19.9% stake in Virgin Australia, a 49% stake in Air Serbia, a 3% stake in Ireland's Aer Lingus, and 24% in India's Jet Airways. Air Berlin and Etihad, which already operate 42 weekly flights between destinations in Germany and Abu Dhabi, said that they would increase their weekly flights to 49 next month, when a second daily flight to Munich was scheduled to start. Dubai-based builder Arabtech Holding has announced that one of its units had been awarded a 2.59 billion dirham construction contract on Abu Dhabi's Al Rim Island. The project will house a five-star hotel and a residential tower and will be built within three years, it said in a bold statement, adding that the deal had pushed its contract backlog to a record high of more than 33 billion dirhams. Arabtech, which built Dubai's famous palm-shaped islands, has been on a push for growth after it replaced its chief executive last year in a shake-up, led by Abu Dhabi fund Abar, its largest shareholder. Investors have been hoping that Arab Tech will win more Abu Dhabi business because of its strengthened connection with Abar. Al Rim Island, located just off Abu Dhabi's coast and spread across 6.5 million square meters, is the largest property development in the Emirate, according to Arab Tech.